there, J.E. champs. Do you know that questions from continuity involving the greatest integer function are an absolute favorite of the J.E. examiners? Like this one here. Let's see how to crack it. It says, where all is the given function discontinuous? Now, before you straight away dive into solving the question, take a moment and explore the options. All integers, all integers except 0, all integers except 0 and 1, or all integers except 1. Now, the question is indirectly giving us a hint about checking the continuity of the function at 0 and 1. Right? It is emphasizing these two critical points a lot. So we are going to take that hint and check the continuity of f at 0 and 1. Let's start with 0. What is the value of function at 0? It is gif of 0 whole square minus gif of 0 square, which is obviously 0 minus 0, that is 0, because greatest integer function of any integer is the same integer. Now, left-hand limit at 0 will be equal to limit x tends to 0 from the negative gif of x whole square minus gif of x square. Realize if x is approaching to 0 from the left-hand side, it is very, very close to 0, but it is less than 0. So I can say it is strictly sandwiched between minus 1 and 0. But if x is lying between minus 1 and 0, obviously x square will lie between 0 and 1. So gif of x will be minus 1, but gif of x square will be 0. So left hand limit will come out to be minus 1 whole square minus 0, that is simply 1. What about the right hand limit at 0? Well, if x will approach to 0 from the right hand side, that means x is very very close to 0, but it is positive, it is greater than 0. So I can say it is sandwiched strictly between 0 and 1 which implies x square will also be sandwiched between 0 and 1. So gif of x will be 0 and gif of x square will also be 0. So right hand limit will come out to be 0 minus 0 that is 0. Obviously LHL is not equal to RHL that means this function is not continuous at 0. Alright, moving on to the next critical point that is 1. What is the value of function at 1? Well, it is gif of 1 whole square minus gif of 1 square. gif of 1 is 1 only, so you will get 1 minus 1, that is 0. Correct? Basically, the function f will give 0 as the answer at every integral input. Alright, let's check left hand limit of the function at 1. As x approaches to 1 from the left hand side, what happens? Well, x is very very close to 1, but it is less than 1. That means I can say x is strictly sandwiched between 0 and 1. So x square will also sandwiched between 0 and 1. Correct? So gif of x will be 0 and gif of x square will also be 0. So left hand limit of f at 1 will come out to be 0 minus 0, that is 0. But what about the right hand limit? Well, if x will approach to 1 from the right hand side, that means x is very, very close to 1, but to the right of 1. Correct? This will imply x squared will also be very, very close to 1 and it will be greater than 1. So, gif of x will be 1 and gif of x squared will also be 1. Correct? So, right hand limit will come out to be 1 minus 1, which is again 0. Congratulations people, left hand limit at 1 is coming out to be equal to right hand limit at 1 which is also equal to value of the function at 1, everything is 0. Now before you get your hands on checking continuity of f at any other input, please go to the options. All integers, is the function discontinuous at all integers? No, it is continuous at 1, so a is incorrect. All integers except 0. Well, this is also incorrect because the function is discontinuous at 0. All integers except 0 and 1. Well, the function is discontinuous at 0, so even this option is incorrect. That means you are left with only one option, all integers except 1. Yes, this will be the correct answer. Your function will turn out to be discontinuous at all integers except 1. Done.